What's up, Alicia Adelady here, and welcome back to Empires, and another glorious day in the Ocean Empire. As you can see, we have a new lily pad island over here. Since Joel and I had our royal wedding, our empires are now allied through marriage. So he's built an embassy lily pad for us to conduct our official business. Speaking of which, there is an important matter we must attend to. Yoo-hoo, your royal highness, King, J King Joel. Hello, Lizzie. Should I come back later? No, that's not what it looks like. That's just one of my clones. Uh, how are you? King Joel, yes. I hope you brought your fish buckets with you because it's time to produce an heir. Ooh, wait, with fish buckets? Fish buckets are involved, yes. Follow me. Okay. Welcome to the axolotl paradise. Oh, they really like you. It has been prophesied that the heir to my empire shall be born a blue axolotl. And Ooh. as you know, that is a one in 12,000 chance of happening, so we'd better get started. Unfortunately, no heir was born today. Okay, we'll be back again for another breeding session. Yes. But you know, Joel, if you can't provide me with an heir, I am going to have to behead you and find a new king. Wait, what? Henry VIII style. No! Wait, come back! Oh, there's a trader llama up here. Where's the wandering trader? Yeah, there's a wandering trader on your roof. Where? Oh, give me all of your tiny cute blocks. You have been of great service to me today, wandering trader. For that, I will let you live. The rest of your day is up here, trapped on my Prisma Palace. Goodbye. So perhaps the prince is not arriving today, but there's still plenty of work to do around here in the empire, because today I'm adding another tower to my Prisma Palace. So this is where it's going to be. A new tower. Now apparently I was really excited about my new tower because at this point I broke out into a very unique rendition of a whole new world. And honestly, I think I'm starting to lose the plot. A whole new tower, a splendid addition to the Prisma Palace. Unbelievable quartz, indescribable coral roof. <gasps> oh my gosh, what is happening? Oh, 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 they must not have liked my singing. Anyway, new tower incoming. And so the building began, and I became so consumed with my need to place blocks that I didn't even notice it was getting dark, until this happened. Admittedly, not my finest moment, but I wasn't gonna let one creeper ruin my day, so I kept placing blocks. And then it was finally time to build another live coral roof. Why oh why did I decide to build my empire with such difficult to obtain blocks? Oh that's right, because it looks very impressive. Now my tower is complete, and this is going to be my war tower. Yes, this is where I conduct all my military business. So first of all, I think we need a throne for me to sit upon. And of course, I'm going to build it to match my color scheme. But I'm also going to use some really valuable blocks to showcase the wealth of the Ocean Empire. Yes, look how rich I am. I can make chairs out of diamonds. Okay, just kidding, I'm not actually rich. I don't even have any trousers. But I do have a flair for interior design. So I'm gonna make my throne room look even more impressive with some hanging fish souls. And for even more flair, soul fire. Yes. And maybe cover that up. And now in an unexpected twist, I've run out of diamonds. So let's make like it's episode two and go mining. Whew, it's been a long time since I've been down here. But this should be a lot easier than it was back when I was an episode two baby. Cause now I have a good pickaxe. Just look at me go. I'm gonna find diamonds in no time. Spoiler alert. I did not find diamonds in no time. One eternity later. Finally, some diamonds. Oh, yes. Guys, that took me 30 minutes. <sighs> I am clearly not the queen of mining. But luckily, as I got deeper into the caves, my luck began to change. And I found this huge vein of diamonds, giving me a total of 39. But then I've run out of torches and now I just want to get out of this cave, but I'm stuck. Oh my gosh. Oh no, what is this? Oh, wait, where's my empire? Oh, it's right there. Okay, so I may not have finished my mining mission with dignity, but I did come out of there with a bunch of diamonds. So I can flex on my fellow empires once more. Wow. This is what diamonds are for, people. 
Now, the next addition to my war room, I would like to add some banners that belong to my empire and the others that I am allied with. So first, I'm gonna make one for my empire. How do we do that? I don't know. So let's take this loom down to my villagers and one of them will teach me the way of the loom. Ah, here is my sensei. My sensei is trying to scam me. Fine, I'll do it myself. There, that wasn't so difficult. Now I can proudly display this in my war room. Ta-da! Now I just need to collect banners from all of my allies. And luckily we can start with Catherine's banner, which my bees have been protecting this whole time, ever since I first allied with Catherine. So let's put her banner up here. Next, we need a banner from the Mazalian Empire. So I think I'll pay my new husband a little visit. Wow, I love it here. I'm so glad that half of this is mine now. Yoo-hoo! Hello, Lizzie. Wow, you look powerful. I am powerful. You kind of look like a villain. I feel like a villain. But you're not, right? I didn't marry the villain, did I? I'm a good guy. I'm the oh, best, I would say. Joel, I would like to acquire one of your Mazalian Empire banners, if you have one. I happen to have one on me right now. There you go. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so... Bright! Yeah, it's got all the Mazalian colours. We got the orange for the Mesa, you got the purple and the green for the Azalea. Oh yeah, your outfit has all the colours too. Yeah, it's all on purpose. Wow. I forgot how good you look without ah, your outfit. Oh dear. Uh, well, thank you very much. Goodbye! Good banner! Oh jeez. Ta-da! And now the final banner to add is that of the Codfather. But since he's not online right now, I'm going to have to go on a diplomatic mission to his empire. And being the queen of the ocean, of course, whenever I travel diplomatically, I have to make sure I arrive in true ocean style. Ah, the beautiful polluted waters of the Swamp Kingdom. Now, somewhere around here, there's a banner, and I intend to make a replica. <gasps> wow, it's so green. Let's just make a quick photocopy of this. And we'll replace this back on the wall. And it's like we were never here. Right, Norman? You never saw me. So now I have banners from all of my official allies. And I love them so much, I'm gonna make more. More. Now this is what I call a war room. And I got a suggestion in the comments one time to make some floor decorations out of coral. And I think my war room is the perfect place to experiment with this. So I'm gonna test this out by placing a slab and waterlogging it. And now we shall see if coral will stay alive. <gasps> my precious, it lives. Now we can put these everywhere. And now it looks horrific down here, but on the surface we have life. Okay, so it looks a little bit chaotic, but I think I like that. So now we can move on to the final phase of my war room, which is actually in here, below my chest room, where the squid lives. I won't lie to you, the first few times I saw this, I had no idea what was happening, but now I'm very used to it. So in here, I want to build a cool map room and have a huge map of the realm. But I want to go for a different vibe in here, and I thought it would be cool if this room looked really dark and evil, so I'm going to use a lot of blocks from the nether, which is why I finally made myself some trousers, because I need all the protection I can get in there. So hopefully I can get in and out of the nether with all of the warped wood and blackstone that I want. Ah! I forgot gold armor. Well, getting the warped wood should be easy. Two hours later. Okay, I think that's quite enough. And I managed to collect all of that without incident. Oh no. That looks a lot like an incident waiting to happen. So I'm just gonna put all of my new warped wood in this shulker box and leave it there for safekeeping because the next item on my list won't be so easy to obtain. I need to find a basalt delta and get some black stone. Oh gosh. I don't wanna be here anymore. Oh no. This is what I want. Blackstone. Wow, this is surprisingly easy. All right. Ah! I almost did that without incident. I could have died, but I didn't. Now let's get out of here before I do meet an unfortunate end. What's that? A flawless execution of a nether adventure? 
Now that I have all my supplies, it's time to build. So I started by hollowing out this huge recess in the middle of the chamber, and down here is where I will put the map. But I'm gonna make some glowing item frames so that they will be nice and illuminated, like this one. This is going to look amazing. So I just need to make sure this room also looks amazing. It's time to get busy. So to make this place look amazing, I used my warped logs to create a border around the recess, and I used warped planks to build a walkway all the way around. And then because it wasn't yet looking quite as evil and spooky as I'd hoped, I replaced the walls with black stone. And now this place has a very sinister vibe, just how I wanted it. Now the next thing I'm gonna add is a chandelier hanging from the ceiling down into this pit. So using a combination of blackstone, crying obsidian, and soul lanterns, I created this very eye-catching chandelier. And I do declare it is the most fabulously evil thing in my lair. I couldn't help but stand and admire it for a while. So now I just need to cover this entirely with these glowing item frames. Now we just need to map out the entire world. A tedious task, which will take many grueling hours to complete. But luckily, I have no life, so I will bravely take on this task. So I loaded up my supplies into a shulker box, and I boarded the HMS Llama to set sail for distant lands. Well, actually, I had to start by mapping the ocean right outside my empire. But I thought it was really cute that the Llama was looking over my shoulder at the maps as I was creating them. And I was having so much fun, until it all went horribly wrong. And what happened next, I can only describe as cartography chaos. Oh no, I'm very unqualified for this job. I've just wasted a load of maps because I made a load of duplicates. And now I've run out of paper. I don't know if my map room will ever be finished. Thank you guys for watching this episode of Empires. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to leave a like on this video, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you next time.